Well, hey there, how are you? So let's be honest for a second. From time to time, most people, most of us, will probably end up telling some kind of a lie at some point, even if it's just a little one. I'm serious, we all do it. For example, your best friend asks you what you think of their new hair color. It's hideous, but they're your friend. So you tell them, yeah, it looks great. Or maybe your significant other asks you if you think they've put on a little weight. You seriously telling me that you're gonna say, yeah, you're chunking up? Or maybe it's that annoying person at work that asks you if you wanna go out with the group after work to have some drinks. You tell them, yeah, I've got other plans. You know full well those plans probably involve pajama pants and Netflix. But you don't want to seem like a jerk, so you may use a small lie to kind of smooth through the conversation. There are mountains of information and writings on the psychology behind lying. It's been said that lies are the lubrication that moves social interactions forward. Many people exaggerate or fib or just make things up in order to get through their day. But it's when lying gets out of control that it can wreak havoc on personal and professional lives, potentially destroying relationships and careers. Now, this kind of out of control lying is usually put into two basic categories, compulsive lying and pathological lying. These are two different things. Stay tuned because today I wanna to focus on compulsive liars, how to recognize them and how to deal with them. Comment below your experience dealing with someone who lies all the time. My name is Dennis, and this is Driving Me Crazy. Compulsive liars have a deep need to embellish and exaggerate to feel successful in the moment. They tell stories that they think people want to hear. When you ask a compulsive liar for an opinion on something, a lot of times you'll get an answer like, oh, I know all about that. I, my brother, my mother, my sister, my father, my cousin, my friend, classmate, roommate had that too. The compulsive liar walks a fine line in that moment between knowing that they're not telling the truth and kind of believing the lie just enough to get them through the conversation. Just a quick side note on pathological liars. Now, they can often be bolder, and in terms of their impact on others, they can be more dangerous. That person, the pathological liar, may be dealing with something more serious like mental illness, or delusions, or false memories from trauma. That's a topic for another video. So what exactly is going on with that person who compulsively lies? There are a variety of reasons why they would do it apart from just making themselves look good in the moment. Many times that person may be compulsively telling falsehoods in order to protect themselves. A person who tells coworkers that they've had the flu because they don't want to discuss a more serious or chronic illness. A person who may sit on a lie for years because they committed a crime or had an affair. A high school dropout may lie about the fact that they have a GED instead of a diploma. Or, most tragically, maybe a child that has to deal with abusive parents and compulsively lies just to avoid harm. The lying can be motivated by a threat to their position in life, their social standing, or sadly, in some cases, their safety. So, how do you deal with a compulsive liar? Well, first of all, you have to understand that in certain situations, that compulsive liar who's looking for instant gratification, they're gonna study you. Compulsive liars are known to listen carefully to the people around them to try and look for clues to gauge who's going to be open to believing this lie. As much as it might irk you to deal with someone like this, gauge for yourself whether or not this person is really just an annoyance or an actual problem. I think you find that most often, it's really just a case of them annoying you. Second, be open to realizing that 
you may in fact be dealing with that person who is lying in order to protect themselves from some uncomfortable truth. You may find plenty of situations where the person telling the lie is really nervous. A lot of times, in fact, will show relief if the topic has suddenly changed and they don't have to try to maintain the lie anymore. Finally, just forget the things that everybody knows. Not all liars do the things that will give them away. Believe it or not, not all liars have a tell. Touching their nose or pulling on their ear, shifting in their seats or their eyes darting around as they talk. Those, my friends, are called myths. In fact, many experienced liars are very good at maintaining eye contact while they're talking. They may come off as very much at ease and comfortable with themselves in the moment. When you think someone is full of it, especially in innocent situations, there are things you can do. First of all, just listen to them, but be ready to jump in when something sounds completely bizarre or off the wall. Ask them directly, hey, how can that be true if X? See if they back down from it or if they double down and go further. A lot of this is just meaningless social interaction and probably doesn't have that much impact on your day. But you can often catch these folks in small contradictions to what they said a few minutes ago. Now, if this is a friend or a loved one, don't come at them too hard. Reassure them that they don't have to try to impress you, that you love them and value them for who they are. You may be surprised by the results. On that note, you have to decide for yourself how truly important that relationship actually is. Trust your instincts. And if you have come to the decision that this person and this relationship and these lives are just too toxic to you in your life, you have to be ready to make a decision about whether you need to break away from this person for your own well-being. I'm not a psychologist or a doctor. I've just been around a long time, lived a pretty full life up to this point, met a lot of people. I've developed a pretty good radar for folks that have a tricky relationship with the truth. I honestly hope though that for you and your family that you never have to deal with this type of extreme lying in your life. If you know somebody that needs help, reach out. Reach out to me, reach out to a professional, reach out to other friends and family members, and make a good faith effort to try and help this person if you can. I hope that you'll follow me on Patreon and consider becoming a patron. Help me continue to build the mission of driving me crazy. Of course, if you think I did a good job on this video, I'd love to have you subscribe. Come along for more of these conversations. That's gonna do it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the road.